Everyone loves pizza and today I will share with you not only a healthy variation but an inexpensive and easy dish to make at home. Tomatoes, maida, butter and cheese are the only ingredients you require. Tomato galette is a free-form pie with rustic hand-folded edges stuffed with a delicious tomato and cheese topping and baked until golden brown. The ingredients we require to make tomato galette are one and a half cups of maida or all-purpose flour, a third of a cup of unsalted butter, a tablespoon of garlic, salt and pepper to taste, half a cup of grated cheddar cheese or cheese of your choice, two large tomatoes, half a cup of basil, a tablespoon of olive oil and half a cup of water. To begin with, we will make the dough for the galette. So take your flour, salt, mix it in and then add the chilled butter. The butter should not be room temperature, it should be chilled. Gently mix it in until the flour is incorporated with the butter and it looks like fine breadcrumbs. This is what the flour should look like. We add half a cup of chilled water. Make sure the water is cold. And gently mix it in until a dough is formed. You have to be very gentle and not overwork the flour. So just keep streaming in a little at a time. And with a gentle hand, keep mixing it in. This should take about a minute or two. Just a tad bit more. Now set this dough in the refrigerator. Now set this dough in the refrigerator until you're ready to bake. Next we will chop our tomatoes. They should be about uh, a fourth of an inch thick. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife. It'll make cutting easier. And then place them on paper towel to remove excess moisture. If the tomatoes have too much of moisture, your galette will be soggy at the bottom. So our tomatoes have, uh, we've drained them on the paper towel to remove any excess moisture. I'm going to lightly salt it, add pepper, and a little bit of the olive oil. And then some of the minced garlic. Just gently place a little bit on each of the tomato slices. Garlic and tomatoes taste wonderful. Now we'll roll out the dough. Be very gentle with this dough. You can't roll it out like a roti because it will crack. But just free form it and just roll it into about a fourth of an inch thick. Remember you don't have to be neat. The edges don't have to be perfect. This is a rustic peasant type dish. So just roll it slightly bigger than the size of the pan that you have. So my pan is about 9 or 10 inches. 
So I'll make it about 11 or 12 is how big in diameter my dough has to be rolled. Gently lift the dough and place it on your pan and using a fork lightly pierce the dough so that it doesn't bubble up when you're baking. Very, very gently. Now we will layer the cheese and then we will put the tomatoes in a beautiful circular pattern. And then add some more cheese. This is a light dish so you don't need to add too much of cheese and then gently tear pieces of basil leaf right into our galette. A little bit more salt and some more pepper. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil and then gently fold the edges over, pleating as you go. Remember, you don't need to be perfect. And now we're ready to place this in the oven. Just make sure you had preheated your oven to 200 degrees centigrade. We are going to bake this for about 20 to 25 minutes. This is the perfect appetizer for everyone to share at a party or serve at high tea. It's best served at room temperature or slightly warm and makes a great accompaniment for a fresh salad and soup to make a complete meal.